Today I am going to talk about how machine intelligence techniques are useful for cost-effective clinical data analysis. As you know that the term artificial intelligence, so it has got its enormous application starting from the automations, biomedical, speech processing, image processing and the healthcare. So we are working in the field of the detection of neuromusculoskeletal disorder using artificial intelligence techniques. So the target participants for our research is cerebral palsy children and these autism children. So now this neuromusculoskeletal disorder basically is that this neurological impairment causes difficulty in performing the motor actions uh, which prevent the participants to do day-to-day -day -day life activities like the cycling kind of uh, stairs climb, climbing all other things. So now people are looking for a reliable technology using this AI so that it could be used for diagnosis of this neuromusculoskeletal disorder. So these standard gate labs are already consisting of very high cost motion sensors okay like the starting from the Vicon coalescences and other things. These sensors are very much accurate but it has got some shortcomings like this portability and installation difficulties and its costs are very expensive so that these normal people cannot afford it. So this type of things will motivate us to take this thing as a challenge so that how a cost effective device can be developed so that it can be useful for our mankind. So our research focus based on this how a cost effective clinical data analysis can be done using artificial intelligence techniques which can be convenient so that people can easily wear the sensors low cost sensors and also it can be sensors can be non-invasive like you don't need to have any person's full cooperation to acquire this data and as well as it must be very reliable to capture this data so now i'll just uh, talk about a brief description of the gate as a layman language. Okay, uh, what, what is exactly gate cycle? So uh, uh, one uh, gate cycle will have the different phases. It will start from the heel strike, then the stow off from one leg, then another leg that you will have uh, this uh, uh, this is a heel strike, then this process is keeps going on and then this entire gate cycle will be completed. So now to do these things, so different phases that you need to go along with this. One is called this trans phase, and another is called the swing phase. So basically, there are certain type of applications of the gate, gate, gate analysis, starting from the biometric identifications, sports biomechanics, robotics, pathological gate assessment, and rehabilitation monitoring. So we are only focusing on the two parts. One is called how. Uh, a pathological gate, gate assessment things can be useful for the common people to detect the neuromusculoskeletal disorders and this rehabilitation monitoring which helps to uh, monitor in the people after doing this rehabilitation. To, in order to execute this task, we have used different types of sensors, inert sensors, Microsoft inert sensors, IMU sensors and electromagnetic sensor that is for EMG. Now I'll discuss about this what is Microsoft Kinect sensor, what it does actually. So this Microsoft Kinect sensor actually was actually used for the gaming purposes. So now due to its motion tracking ability, people are using as a uh, data analysis purpose. And it has produces different types of data streams starting from the depth image, body index image and the skeleton image. From these images you can extract different types of features for clinical data analysis. Next is called this uh, inertial uh, sensors. It is actually a IMU sensor and it will give you to the information about the inertia of the moving body. And the same process if you could follow, then now uh, we have developed one prototype to capture this inertia of the moving body to capture this gate pattern. Next is called this uh, EMG sensors. Obviously, these uh, EMG sensors will give it to you uh, this is a muscle activation pattern. We are using this MyOware kind of advanced technology so that you could get easily the muscle activation pattern. So now what you will do after taking all type of data, you need to apply again these AI techniques like this starting from 
the feature instructions that you need to know because you need to distinguish between these two patterns one pattern belongs to the normal people and another pattern belongs to the abnormal people so um, the, oh, means who is going to do this job now the AI based system that you are going to develop this will do this job automatically so, so that's why it is extremely important to develop an automated get assistance system which will be useful for to perform this type of job so now for this uh, pathological get assessment in order to do this pathological get, get assessment we have focused on these two types of walking pattern one is called the normal walking pattern another uh, i mean this is a uh, ground walking pattern another is called the treadmill walking pattern so two types of data set that we have captured and for these autistic children as well as these children with the cerebral palsy now what are the steps to be done for doing the gate assessment here also again you have to apply the AI based techniques now what are the steps first you have to do the uh, data you have to go for the data acquisition process so due to the data acquisitions we have faced some difficulties like because if you don't have the actual data it will be very difficult to validate your model so that's why we have captured this actual data of the cerebral palsy as well as the autistic children next is for the data preparations now for the data preparations you need to filter out all these uh, these meaningless informations okay uh, like these noises uh, that is being encountered or the artifacts that you need to remove it then next job is again we have to apply some uh, machine learning methods to do the gate phase detection as i already told you that this gate cycle will have the two different phases stance phase and swing phase so how are we going to detect these phases now the artificial intelligence techniques that we have applied to identify that the person is in which phase whether it is a stance phase whether it is a swing phase so we have applied different supervised learning methods and this unsupervised learning method like this clustering algorithm to perform this type of job next we have extract some kind of features we have proposed the handcrafted features based on our requirement based on seeing the data set we have proposed our own features and as well as some uh, automatically extracted features that we have applied some deep learning methods okay to uh, which will help out uh, so deep learning is a modern AI based techniques that people are uh, using so uh, for to, to do this job so next portion is for the rehabilitation monitoring so in the uh, rehabilitation monitoring so we have worked on this is an acl injuries so for the uh, acl injury this is an anterior posterior ligament injuries so this type of injury uh, basically occurs for the persons who are in the uh, soccer athletics so we have captured uh, these athletics data from our institute also by uh, mounting this IMU sensor uh, so, so that we can get this information and we can analyze it so for doing these things we have these in three different phases first one is the data analysis portion that we have done next uh, first one is this uh, data acquisitions next is for the data analysis so in the data analysis portion uh, we have done that what is the progress of this the state of the patient that we have observed then also we have applied some machine learning techniques next this prediction the how much time the person is going to take or the athletic is going to take to recover so to order to do these things we have applied some temporal based model so here also in order to use the temporal based model we are using some machine learning method here itself last one is called that um, my PhD student Joyda Chakraborty and me has already developed that, that is a one get assessment or get assistive tool so this tool actually basically annotation tool it will help you automatically annotate this data through these interactive plots if this uh, it can be useful for different people or the different community starting from the biomedical like this uh, uh, physiologist therapist uh, or the clinicians so this tool will be very much uh, useful for them to automatically annotate this data and to automatically detect the face that i already explained that is uh, this uh, the algorithm machine learning algorithm that we have already implemented so we have embedded it to make a one software so that it could be useful very easily and it is very interactive so finally uh, uh, this is the last not the least these are the different applications that we have already identified for the uh, for our people who are suffering we are just looking for a reliable technology starting from the pathological gate assessments uh, like this um, uh, rehabilitation monitoring and for this uh, this tool that people are uh, looking for so we have applied different ai based techniques to do this kind of research so our research is not complete so we are exploring 
our research in that particular direction so that we could develop a one good system, uh, affordable get system so that it could be useful or beneficial for our mankind. And I would like to thank all my research scholars who are working in this field like Jyotya Chakravati, Soipat Chakravati, Sumit Hazra and this Varjana. So who are, who are actively and partially involved in this project. Thank you so much.